Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to start our discussion on logistic regression. Logistic regression is a discriminative classifier. In the last few videos, we looked at naive Bayes. Naive Bayes is a generative model or a generative classifier. So first we are going to look at what are the differences between generative and discriminative classifiers before we start the discussion on logistic regression. We are still in the supervised learning part of the course and we here want to learn an hypothesis H which maps input X to our target variable Y. So this is a target variable or target class or prediction class. All these are used to refer to Y. Now, let's compare and contrast between generative classifiers and discriminative classifiers by looking at an example. So what we saw earlier, naive base, is a generative classifier. Why? It is because we have some data, x, and we have their corresponding labels in the form of y. And we calculate this P of X given Y, P of data given Y, and the prior P of Y. So this looks very much like the prior. What is the percentage of different values of Y in the data? And this looks like the likelihood probability of data given the class and this is the posterior p of y given x we calculate y given x for each and every class to remind you of naive base and then use that to do our prediction whichever class comes out on top is our the right class so that's what we predict so we use Bayes rule so we estimate the parameters we estimate this value p of x given y and p of y we estimate these two things and use that to calculate p of y given x using Bayes rule So we use Bayes rule to calculate P of Y given X. So it's called a generative model because it involves an indirect computation of P of Y given X using Bayes rule. As a result, it can also generate a sample of the data. So remember, we also had here, so we have a proportional sign here. So we also had, if we have to say, have an equal to here, then we would have P of Y given X is equal to P of X given Y, P of Y by P of X, where P of X is the data probability of the data so you can use p of x to generate a sample of the data because we are using Bayes rule here we can potentially change these places to get p of x on left hand side and p of y given x in the bottom and then calc using that, we can calculate a sample of the data. We can generate the data. So generator models get their name from that in that it's possible to use them to generate a sample of data. And when I say generate a sample of data, we are going to need a distribution for the data, which is X. 
which is given by p of x. So that's why naive Bayes is a generative model. Now let's contrast that with logistic regression. Why? What, is, what parts of logistic regression make it different from naive Bayes? The first thing that's different is that there is a direct functional form for p of y given x. So the argument for that is eventually for making the predictions, we use p of y given x, right? So we calculate this quantity. This is what we use for making our final predictions. So why not we directly assume a functional form for p of y given x, which will save us the trouble of going through calculating p of x given y, p of y, and then using that to calculate p of y given x. So it will save us all the trouble. So why can't we directly assume a functional form for p of y given x? And that's how logistic regression was born. Logistic regression assumes a functional form direct functional form for p of y given x and the parameters of the functional form so it has a functional form the functional form has some parameters and the parameters are estimated using the data so you obviously need to use the data somehow here we are directly using it to calculate the likelihood and prior in naive base but in logistic regression we can we use the data to calculate the parameters of the functional form that we are assuming. This is why it may it, it is a discriminative model because it cannot give you a sample of the data. So we don't we are not interested in p of x given y or p of x these quantities we are not interested in and we don't have a functional form for that. We assume a direct functional form for P of Y given X. So we don't have how this guy is distributed, P of X given Y. We also don't have how P of X is distributed because we are directly assuming a functional form for P of Y given X. And since that's what we need for making the predictions, we don't bother learning p of x given y and p of x and hence it cannot apply, obtain a sample of the data because p of x is not available. So the difference between generative models and discriminative models is key to understand the two different kinds of models that are possible in machine learning and when to pick which kind of model. So we'll discuss more about logistic regression in the following videos.